All right, guys. So, guys, so yesterday um, we did perimeter, and we know that perimeter is if you have um, 10 and 10 and 5 and 5, you're going to add up all the sides. All the sides. So, I would do 10 plus 10 is 20. Plus 5 is 50, uh, 25, plus another 5 is 30. And we know that it is, when we're doing perimeter, we're doing the outside of the shape. So how, how many steps, basically, you would need to take to go all the way around this rectangle, right? But what about if you want to measure the inside of the rectangle. What if you wanna know how much inside there is in the rectangle? How much backyard you have? Are you gonna walk like this, this way, this way, this way, and try and count all the steps? No, no you're not. So we decided to do, to make area. When, when people had this problem, they wanted to know, you know, how much was inside of their square. They said to themselves, "Well, let's let's try and uh, let's try and figure out the area of it." Now, the area is actually just as easy as the perimeter. So remember, this is perimeter. The perimeter is adding. It's adding all of the outside together. The area. The area is multiplying. Ta-da! You just multiply base, which is this part, times height. So the long by the tall. All right? Base times height. The long by the tall. Sorry I'm so sniffly today, guys. I've got really terrible allergies. So if we had, if we had our base be 10, and our height be 5, just like this last one, but we wanted to know the inside. How much inside is here? We would do the base, or 10, times the height, or 5. So we would do 10 times 5. And that equals, because we know our math facts, 50. All right, so now let's do another base times height. Let's do two times two. Well, if this is a square and this way it's two and this way is two, we know that two times two to get the area base times height is four. So this has four units in it. And basically it's saying that if each unit was one inch, Let's say each unit is one inch. Remember, a unit is a single thing. There's two squares this way and two squares this way. So all together inside, there's four cubes. Four cubes make up this box. If I did this one, it would be 50 cubes. There would be five down. So let's say one, two, three, four, five. And there would be 10 across. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh boy. There we go. Now there's 50 cubes in there. All right. So all it's saying is how many cubes fit on the inside? Well, if there's 10 cubes across and five cubes down, you just do 10 times five and you get how many. You don't have to count how many are in there, especially if you can't see how many are in there. Let's do another one. So remember, all you have to know is base times height equals area. That is the long times the tall. Long times the tall to get area, all right? So if I have... Here's one, and let's do two more. Let's do, this one is 11, and this one is 
8. So we have 11 and 8. And remember, base times height to get area, or long times tall. All right, well, we have 11 is one of our numbers times 8 is another number equals, well, 11 times 8 is 88. <coughs> Sorry. You're just multiplying the sides. This side, don't multiply this side and this side. If you do 8 times 8, you're not going to get the right thing. You need to do this way times this way. The long way across by the, the uh, tall of the shape, all right? base times height. The base is what it's standing on. The height is how tall it is. So you cannot multiply this and this side. All right. <coughs> I'm sorry. My allergies are very bad. All right. Let's do another one. Let's try ooh, something harder. This is 20. Let's see. This is six. Now, 20 times 6 is a little harder, so I am going to actually line it up. I have to do my base times my height. So 20 times 6. 6 times 0 is 0. 6 times 2 is 12. <coughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm having a really hard time. <laughs> So our area is 120. It's almost easier than perimeter because perimeter you have to add all the sides and you have to remember to do that. For area, <coughs> sorry guys, you have to work with what you have. So this, this right here, you only have two numbers. You just multiply those two. If there's any number, other numbers given, let's say they do this to you and then they say find the area, just circle two of them. That's what I like to do. That reminds me. And it's so much easier than perimeter because you don't have to worry about the other two. All right? And if you have any questions, don't worry. I can help you out on Google Meet. Bye, guys. I don't know how to turn this off.